everybody, welcome back, Fumbler here. And today we're going to have a look on this nice block made by Nemeth. It's a Dutch company. I think this is my first block of this brand. And always happy to pick a lock from a country I have not visited, not picked yet. Been to the Netherlands quite a few times on holidays and so on. Very nice country, I love it. And yeah, let's see what the lock are up to. Um, this is the model NF2. Yeah, they owned by SR Apply nowadays. It is a six pin lock. Here's the bidding actually. And you see also a drill protection thing here in the front, which also maybe some other stuff gives it this two star security rating for anti drill protection and so on. And these six pins are no joke with their driver pins um a bit tough to pick really have to feel for them for the states because they are tapered and you have to come back to them all the time i will show you hopefully in a second i did not gut it yet so i don't know for sure what's in there but from picking it feels like the whole bag is like tapered you have to revisit them all the time and yeah unfortunately the bidding is not super challenging but short keeping here in the middle it's always nice to see, but also if you look on the keyway, um, this is wide open, so the bidding is not too, uh, yeah, not too drastical in this lock anyhow. But don't be fooled by that. Um, still, good a good challenge to pick. So let's put it in vice and see you back in a second. So here we are back in vice. Key works just fine, and yeah, using this 1.3 millimeter tensioner from Moki on the pin side, clockwise tension, rather heavy. And then I will be using a rather steep profile in 0.5 millimeters FU5, and yeah, I will tension clockwise, and this usually binds the lock from the back side in this case. And again here pin 6 is binding so let's listen in okay got it pin 5 good click pin 4 okay let's go back to 5 and 6 and both gave a good click again so they just popped up a little bit so yeah Let's test from the front. Nothing on one, two, three is binding. Release a bit of tension. Okay, hope I got it. Let's check the back again. Six is good, five is binding. Okay. Six good, five was good, three is binding. Okay, good click. Checking the back again. Okay, six feels binding. Come on. Let's leave it alone for now. Nothing on one, two is binding. Okay, nice. So now we are in deep fall set and just one should be left to pick. And using this steep profile here and then picking off this ledge. Let's get over it. Uh, where is it here? Count rotation and we open. Very nice. Okay, let's cut it and I will just fast forward this part and see you back in a second.
Okay, welcome back from this fast fast forward break and I want to stop here because I think it's a great opportunity again to show you how bad pinning uh, can affect the security of a lock. If you remember the pick I started from the back, yeah? so these pins and then finished on, on this very pin here in the front and this gave me a nice fault set and here's a very nice spool um, which made sense yeah? but if we look on the pins on the driver pins they're all very nice so i mean look at this one here in in chamber two um yeah just a beautiful pin and we see that it's just dropping but it is just effective but if you nudge it a bit it the the thin part doesn't play a role anymore and here in the back if you look on these long key pins here in, in chamber five for example the spool has no chance to become active even though it's a very long very nice spool um, the key pin is just too too long and takes up all the chamber and it starts directly in the thick part same for the very nice driver pins in chambers six and yeah i mean just look at this very nice driver pin yeah it just sits here and this nice spool part or serrated part depends on what you want to call it does not come into play because it is the, the key pin is just too long but that's just unfortunate outbitting yeah just how it is sometimes still if we look on on the details on the head of the driver we see a small angle yeah and this tapering makes it very effective that you have to pick it over and over again so and this we see in all driver pins but i will show you these in a second let me get the key pins out and then come back to you after Okay, welcome back from fast forward and before we take a closer look on the pins, let's have a quick look on the core. Really nothing special if you look on this like this, only and there should be a step here, but no, just warding. And then massive drill protection, one here in the front, here, here, here and here. And this is just if you would drill the lock and try to uh, destructively open it. That you would have a hard time because this is steel and yeah the lock body of course is just uh, brass i think nickel coated brass or so but um yeah these steel pins will give you a hard time and make you slide off of the drill <clears throat> but yeah besides that nothing special on the core so we put that aside also the the housing is just standard basically and if we look now on, on the whole pin assembly you see all the key pins are well made um, they're very nice because um, they all or at least the longer ones all has have overset traps so if you push this a bit too far um, you will end up in this groove here and this will get stuck on the shear line and you will still get a fault set and so on and you will not be able to tell if you're here or here and yeah will give you a hard time that's very nice and yeah also they all have this step here um, which is I think just to set the height and can probably be used for anti-bumping um, yeah. and then the drivers I've shown them already in, in detail individually but we have spools in one three and five and then these double serrated pins here in two four and six and all of them are driver are tapered towards the shear line so also the the spools if you look on the head they are a bit angled 
and this angle already is enough that you have to pick it a couple of times and that it will just slide away from the shear line. Yeah. Mm. I think that's all on this very nice NMF NF2 hook. And yeah, to everybody who's here still, thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate all of you supporting my channel and watching my stuff and leaving a comment. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. It really helps me out. And yeah, hope to see you next video. Have a great day. Bye.